Welcome to MediRent's video on do-it-yourself measurement for a garment. This session will cover how to measure yourself for leg and trunk garments for the LX9 compression pump product. In overview, we will cover information on the MediRent referral form, self-measurement of the leg and trunk sleeves, and briefly touch on the LX9 settings guide. Starting with the referral form, you can order a pump without a referral form. However, we highly recommend that you consult with a health professional prior to doing so. There's two main reasons MediRent prefer the use of the referral form. Firstly, to ensure a health professional has assessed that the compression pump is suitable for you. They are able to evaluate your presentation in the light of your medical history and ensure that you're safe to use it. Secondly, to provide a contact for our clinical support team in the situation where you may need help but also to ensure that your therapist or doctor has up-to-date resources and access to education. If you do not have a health professional that has referred you for the pump, you may still order it. However, we suggest that you find a local therapist to support you in your care. Moving on to measurements. You will need a flexible tape measure to do these measures. The best place to find one will be in a sewing kit. There are three measurements for the leg sleeve and one measurement for the trunk sleeve. If you are just ordering a trunk piece, please take the widest thigh measurement as well, so as the customer service team can work out if you need expanders. For the leg sleeve measures, we will start with the inner leg length. In standing, lift your heel and place the tape measure on the floor. Anchor the tape with the inside heel. You must have the tape running between your legs, not on the outside of the leg. Note how many centimetres of tape is under your foot, as this value will need to be taken off the final measurement. Lift the tape up as high as it will go on the inside of your leg, and then note in the image there that the tape is on the inside leg, and the height that I've been able to lift the tape is in line with the bony part of my hip on the outside of my leg. I have two centimetres of tape under my foot, so I've taken two centimetres off the measurement at the top of the tape. To give you a guide, an average leg length would be about 74 centimetres. For the widest thigh, I would suggest sitting down on a kitchen or office type chair with a firm seat. Sit forward and perch yourself on the seat so as you can wrap the tape measure around the thigh at the largest point. Simply wrap the tape measure around the limb without tension and if you need to, take multiple measures until you find the largest one. For some people, the measurement will be at the highest point on the leg. For others, it will be around the middle thigh where the bulk of the muscle is. It does not matter where the largest measurement is on your thigh for this measurement. Moving on to the widest calf, I would suggest with this measurement that you use a mirror to locate the largest circumference. In the image shown, you can see the muscle bulk is about two thirds up the lower leg and that's my largest point. Wrap the tape with no tension at this point and record the measure. As with the thigh circumference measurement, there will be a large variation in the location of this measure depending on your leg shape. So if your largest point is closer to the knee or closer to the ankle, that's okay. Just provide the largest circumference that needs to fit into the garment. That completes the leg measures. We now move on to the trunk garment measure. For the trunk garment, Remember you will also need a widest thigh measure if you have not already taken it for the leg pieces. The final measure is the widest abdominal measure. Looking at the various body shapes, there is a range of locations where the trunk piece will sit and where the largest circumference will fall. You do not need to identify what shape that you are. This image is simply here to illustrate that the largest abdomen could be low around your hip and bottom or much higher around your belly button level. If you are unsure, take multiple measures and record the largest one. You can see in the image that my largest abdominal circumference is around my hip level. I have brought the tape around my body with no tension to meet at the front and taken that measurement. So this completes the measures for the leg and trunk garments for the LX9 compression pump. Try to be as accurate as possible with the measures and run the tape measure directly on the skin if you are able to. Now that you have taken these measures, what should you do? Firstly, write them down. 
Second, contact your health professional for an opinion as to whether the compression pump is a suitable treatment option for you. And third, contact MediRink customer service to place the order. As a final note, you should be guided by your treating health professional as to the treatment settings. In the absence of advice, please look to our LX9 settings guide to help you with a starting point. This document is sent out with all our product rentals and purchases and explains the various settings and modes available on the LX9 pump. This concludes the MediRent measurement video. I hope that you found it useful.